For this tutorial, we're going to be looking at a simple hip roof. We'll be analyzing hip rafters, hip jack rafters, ridge beam, and the use of common rafters. We'll take a look at the roof framing plan. The dimensions for this project are 24 feet by 36 feet. We'll be using common rafters in the area as indicated. These go off the ridge beam on either side. And then we're using special common rafters at either end of the ridge beam. These are cut the same as the common rafters. Hip rafters we'll be using four of in each corner of the building as indicated. And then we've got hip jacks that come off the hip rafters And these are in each corner of the building in the areas as indicated. All right, you'll notice that the ridge beam has been shortened. It doesn't go the entire width of the building. It's shortened on either end by 12 feet, plus some setbacks that we're going to talk about later. Here's a section view. Now we know the span is 24 feet. Half the span is 12 feet, which makes up the total run. On our drawing, this is indicated by point A to point B. The total rise goes from point A to point D. This will be 9 feet, and our pitch is 9 over 12. The hypotenuse of the triangle is indicated by the mathematical rafter length goes from point D to point B. And this sits on the framing reference plane. Height of a plate line. This will be the same as the previous tutorial as is the overhang at 1 foot 4 inches. All right, we're going to take a look at the common rafter plane. This is in the area as grayed out. This is a 3D view to help you visualize what's going on here. So this is the common rafter plane. The horizontal leg of the plane goes from point A to point B. That makes up the total run. Point A to point D is the vertical leg of the triangle. This makes up the total rise. The horizontal plane of our 3D drawing, you can see that on the roof framing plan, is indicated in gray. Point A, point B, to point C. In the hip rafter plane, which goes at a 45 degree angle, this is indicated in green, goes from point C to point D, making up the mathematical run. You'll see that on the roof plane as indicated. These are the hip rafters. Point C to point D, mathematical run. This is going to be 19 feet, 2 and a half inches. If you'd like to take a closer look at the math right now, let's refer to asterisk C. And it spells out the total run at 12 times the unit length times 19.21. This gives you a mathematical length of 19 feet, 2 and 1 half inches. Let's take a closer look at what we call the 45 degree multiplier. Here's the ridge beam. Now when the hip valley comes off the ridge beam at 45 degrees, at your hypotenuse C, we need to use this formula, A squared plus B squared is C squared. Reduce that down, and the answer is 1.414. That's going to be our multiplier. We're going to use that in the hip run calculation. We're going to take 12 
times 1.414 and come up with unit run of 16.97. We're also going to use that to determine our new unit length. The unit run, we said, was 16.97. You'll square that. You'll add it to the unit rise of 9. Square that. Take the square root. And the answer is 19.21. So this is going to be our new unit length for your hip or your valley. When we're setting our framing square, we also want to use the multiplier. The framing square for the common rafter was at 9 over 12. The framing square for the hip rafter will be set at 9 over 16.97. So we need to factor in the 45 degree multiplier. 12 times 1.414 and we come up with 16.97. So for the hip rafters and valley rafters, set your framing square at 9 over 16.97. Here's a 3D section view. Your common rafter is set at 9 over 12 pitch. Your hip rafters, you can see they come at a different angle. The rafter square is 9 over 16.97. And hip jacks are 9 over 12. You can take a quick look at the table conversion. I've got this laid out for you. For hip or valley, the unit run will be 16.97. If you look down at the rise at 9, the unit length will be 19.20. 19.21, we've rounded it off. Now let's take a look at the sample rafter worksheet now. We've just determined that our unit length for this project will be 19.21. You can enter the calculation as seen. 9 is the rise. Square that, add 288 equals, hit your square root sign, and there's the answer, 19.21. So now let's plug this into our equation. For the hip rafter, total run is 12. Multiply that by the unit length of 19.21. And the mathematical rafter length will be 19 feet, 2 and a half inches. All right, for the fascia, Overhang times the unit length. The overhang is 1.333, or 1 foot 4, times the unit length of 19.21, coming up with an answer of 2 feet 1 and 5 eighths inches.